Boradan Shumai, I am Lord Welshy and welcome to Armello. Armello is a turn-based strategy game that takes elements from tabletop card and dice-based games and rolls them into a fantastic, amazing looking game uh, set in the world of Armello which features anthropomorphic animals as the main characters, described in turn as Game of Thrones meets Animals of Farthing Wood, or Game of Thrones meets Redwall, or Game of Thrones meets pretty much anything that has any form of animals in it that could, uh, that can talk and interact with each other. But that's still pretty cool. Uh, we're just going to dive straight into a new game. Now what's really cool with this game is you get to pick from different characters who are part of different clans. So you have the Wolf Clan, uh, who are good at fighting the rats who tend to be quite good at, as you can see, sneaky, backstabby type stuff. And the bears, uh, priestess, that's Sala, the forest sister, the rabbits. The rabbits who look pretty cool, nice and tall. Look at those ears, very twitchy. Uh, another wolf who's a huntress. And they all have their very special abilities, which is really cool. This is really cool as well. Uh, Barnaby, who is a rabbit, but he's wearing a full suit of armor and has a massive warhammer. That is super and looks so, so cool. Um, I do love the design of the characters in the game. They all look absolutely fantastic. They've all got their own kind of style to them. They look really, really unique. I don't think I've ever, uh, seen anything quite like these guys. They look super. Um, I do quite like River. Uh, she's a huntress. So before she enters battle, uh, she actually fires an arrow at your opponent, causing one damage to their health. So that gives you an immediate advantage going into the fight. However, her fight score is four, so you do need that advantage before you go in, especially if you're going up against someone like Thane, who has a fight of five, or Sana, who has a, uh, who has a fight of two, but she has six health. So she's actually quite tough. So any advantage you can get is good. Now, I have used River before, but I'm going to go with someone else. I'm going to try Thane, who is a Swordmaster, so he has a Fighter 5, uh, which is a pretty good score. You can see a lot of the other characters. They don't tend to be quite that high, except for Zosha. Yeah, Zosha's the only one who kind of rivals on uh, the fight score to Thane. However, she's not as strong in terms of her body, uh, in terms of her health. However... Thane isn't that great with wits or spirits, so that's kind of your trickery and your magic. But he's quite a solid character, and I do like wolves. Aha! And we're up against Mercurio, uh, River, and I completely have forgotten what the rabbit's name is. That's really annoying. That's really bad of me. So we're going to pick a ring. I've only got one, the Sapphire, which grants stealth on mountains day and night. Um, so we'll go into that in a bit about how the different tiles work. Now we're going to pick a random... Uh, select an amulet so I could go with random however I could go with plus one scratch which would improve my fight from five to six I could get more health uh, think which gives me extra wits or feel which gives me additional spirit now if I'm going to go for the fight aspect um, I might go with body because my fight is actually quite strong already I'll give myself plus one body six which will give me better uh, sort of longevity in combat that might be a bad idea but it's what I'm going to go for so, uh, the, the AI heroes have all selected. I can re-roll them, I can choose them myself, or we can just go in. We'll just go in! Oh, look at that. Everyone's ready, everyone's eager to go, including the rabbit with a parasol. Oh, and there's the four main characters on the front there as well. Now, the story behind Armello, well, we'll have a bit of explanation of that now, I suppose. From the wolf to bear, the clans declare the time has come to take the throne. For rot's creeping, it twists our king. Heroes rise, save our mellow. The race for the throne has begun. The There's the king. Pets are here to play hero, it seems. So basically, the king has been afflicted by something called the rot. It's like a creeping darkness in the world of our mellow uh, that corrupts whoever it touches. Um, so basically, the aim of the game is to claim the throne of Armello because the king is slowly going insane and uh, kind of destroying his own world. So, we need to choose a quest to start with. The other heroes have all dropped the ball. You're the only one I can trust. Here's what I know. So we have to pick a starting quest. So we've got uh, Blind Sight, which would give me uh, rewards here. So it would give me plus one to my spirit uh, and plus one to my prestige. Prestige um, basically lets you take uh, political sway in the world of Armello. Um, whoever has the highest prestige at the start of uh, a full new turn, at the start of a new day, has the ear of the king and he'll come to you for 
kind of advice on what laws to implement. Uh, if someone else has it, obviously they can pick something that can impact other heroes. So blind sight would give me a spirit stone. Now, if you collect four of the spirit stones, uh, you can banish the king. So you banish uh, kind of the rot, you banish the king and take over the kingdom. So that's one way of doing it. Pruning weeds would give me plus one fight, plus one prestige. And ah, that'd be interesting. I'd get a new item which is an equipable item, plus one with pierce. That might be useful, the silver lance. Uh, and that's a fight challenge. I wouldn't be very good at a wits challenge because my wits are quite low already. However, a fight challenge, I have a score of five, so I've got a better chance of winning that when I go into it. No rest for the wolves. That is uh, plus one fiery stuff, which is spirit, which is magic. Plus one prestige and the potential to get an alchemist, which gives me plus one to a random stat changes each turn. So each turn I get... Oh, that'd be interesting, actually. So do I want an alchemist who is uh, recruitable to your party? So you can have up to three people in your party. Or do I go for the silver lance, which is equipable in my inventory? Or do I go for the spirit stone? The spirit stone would probably be too difficult because it's uh, something my character's not great at with the with the old wits there. Same with the spirit challenge. The fight challenge would probably be my best option, so I'll go with pruning weeds. So that's going to tell me it's all the way over there in one of the forest tiles. So, Q, uh, quick AI turns unlocked if you feel like you want to get... Uh, okay, right now, that's fine. Right. So... First things first, you, it's a hex-based map, um, so you've got these tiles. You have AP, action points, I have three, which means I can take three actions in a single turn. So I'm going to move out of my starting area. The Crimson Moor, basic terrain, no effect, as you can see. Now, to my left, I have got a swamp. If I go into the swamp, I lose one health, uh, so it takes me down from six to five. Uh, if I go into a town, I can uh, into the settlement, I claim the settlement and gain plus one gold at the start of each day. Which is quite useful. Gold is down here. I've currently got five. And you need gold to do certain actions. So, for example, this card here, Wild Sap, which gives me plus four health, costs two gold to use. Uh, which would be interesting. There's a swamp there. I don't want to go into the swamp. Forest. Forest provides me with stealth during day and night. So I'll go into the swamp. And that's all of my turns. Is there any point in using any of these? Evil Eye plus two wits. No. Okay, so I'm going to end my turn. There's not much more I can do there. So there's River. She went into a, uh, a dungeon which she explored. I've got the quick AI turns on, so I'm not really watching their full turns. I wanted to just uh, kind of get into this get going. Amber, that's her name. Mercurio. There he is, the stealthy rat. Right. Here's the king, so we're into the night. The king has gained plus one rot. Now, rot, um, when you have it, as you can see, his health is dropping. Oh, that's a bane. Banes are a bit annoying. They're kind of the physical manifestation of the rot. They're uh, a monster that turns up every now and again. They're not good. So, as you can see here, uh, Thane is kind of invisible. So, because I'm in the woods, um, I have stealth. So, enemy or, or other characters, like River, she doesn't know where I am because I'm stealthy. So, I'm going to head towards my first challenge. Here we go! So, pruning weeds. Dusk flight canopy has been turned into a den of thieves. Their camps stretch to every corner of the woods. So, I've got two options here. I can take them all on at once, which is uh, a fight challenge that goes against my fight score of five, which means I have a 50% chance of success. If I win, I gain the silver lance, which gives me a plus one sword with the pierce ability, which I can equip, or minus two health if I fail. So I've got a 50-50 chance of being good or bad. Alternatively, I can eliminate the thieves with stealth, which will give me plus one... Uh, fight and plus one prestige but I will not get the silver lance because I'm not passing the challenge so I'm gonna give it a go here we go come on victory for Thane yes we passed the test so we have the silver lance in battle plus one with pierce piercing attacks penetrate a defense dealing damage even when blocked that is really useful hopefully that'll come up at some point I do love the animation on the cards. It's quite subtle sometimes, except with the evil eye. Look at that blinking. Oh, oh. it's very cool. The, the artwork is absolutely amazing. Anyway, I've got one movement point left, so I could move into Hope's End, which is a dungeon, or I could make my way towards... Hmm. No, actually. Okay, so I've completed the quest. Do I save my action point or... Uh, I'm going to go into the dungeon, but that brings... Actually, that brings me in range of river. So I will move back and end my turn. 
Oh, rumours! What have we got? Choose a quest. Uh, I will go with... That's a Wits Challenge, Spirit Challenge, Body Challenge. Well, my body is actually good because I've got six. Uh, and that would give me a Spirit Stone. I'll go with that one. That sounds good. So I've got a new... Oh, it's in a swamp, though. Uh, so I do have a new quest that I need to complete. So there's Mercurio. He's hidden. Oh, there he is. He came out of the forest. And he's back into a forest. So I, I can't see him, but I know he's in that tile. So the king there, you see, because he's got the rot, he's lost health at the start of the turn. It's dawn of the new day, and uh, Amber is the prestige leader. She's got the most prestige. And the kingdom. The king decrees things aren't interesting enough. All heroes discard the cards in their hand. No, I didn't equip my bloody card. Oh, I could have done that. I could have actually done that at any point. I should have done. I ran the risk. That's what I get for being daft. So I completed a quest and basically got nothing for it because I can't use it. Anyway, and you can see here the King's Guard trying to fight the Banes. King's Guard won that fight. Is he going to do it again? No, he can't. He's run out of AP from the looks of it. And they're patrolling the castle. Right, so I need to refill my hat. So I'm going to go with an item card. Chainmail shirt in battle plus one shield and first burned shield gains reflect. That's useful. Uh, I will go with a spell card. Haste, so I gain plus one action point. That's useful. And trickery. Disguise, grant stealth until the end of the turn. So that costs three gold to use. I uh, Let me see, I've got seven. Okay, so I will cast haste on myself. So on myself, on myself, on Thane. There we go, he's got haste. And I'm going to disguise myself so none of the other heroes can see me, but I can move super quick. Maybe. Anyway, let's roll. Uh, what's going to be my quickest option to get there? So I could go into... No, there's no point. Right, I'll head back there. And then here. Okay. So the reason I kind of took the long way around rather than going this way is with mountain rangers, it costs two AP um, to move through them. So you lose two action points, basically. Should I equip the chainmail shirt? I've got plenty of gold. I might as well equip it now rather than risk losing it later on. End my turn. I am relatively new to Armello as well, so any uh, kind of experienced players out there who are going, oh, you should have done this, you have a fair point. Let me know in the comments below. Give me tips, give me hints, because I will always appreciate it, uh, and I can always use it in future playthroughs. And there you just saw um, River's special ability against Amber. Before she went into attack, she fired an arrow, which reduced Amber's health by one. However, she still lost the combat. Oh, and here we go again. Oh, Amber lost that one. Amber's down. Oh, dear. Now, how's Mercurio? Do Ooh, he drew a lot of cards. Jesus. Now, as you saw there, Mercurio actually encountered a peril. Now, perils basically are on these tiles that have the kind of floating skull shapes, like there, for example. Um, if you walk into a... Ooh, I could pick up a spirit stone. Anyway, if you walk into a tile that has a peril, you have to do a challenge. If you win the challenge, great, fantastic. If you lose the challenge, something bad could potentially happen. Like you could lose health or you could lose an item. Um, you could lose gold or prestige. Things like that it has various detrimental effects if you lose the challenge. Right. So I need to draw three cards. That's because I have three wits. I think that's right. Anyway, so we'll go with a spell card. Ah, Wild's Warning, which grants evade. When attacked, roll wits, not fight. That's useful, maybe. Uh, we will go with the trickery card. Merry Thief, steal two gold and give it to the poorest hero. Which is me at this point, because I have zero. Um, and let's go with another trickery card. Merchant's Agreement, plus one gold per turn. I'd have to use one gold to use that. Right. So, it would cost me one, two, three to get that spirit stone. And then there's another one there anyway. So I might do that, try and go for the spirit victory. And there we go. I got one of the spirit stones. Now, you get four of these, you can banish the king. You still have to get in there to get to him to use it, I think. Uh, because I've not done a spirit stone victory before. Oh, I still have one AP. I don't want to go near that bane, actually. So I'll head back this way and start making my way over uh, towards that one. So that costs two gold. That costs one. 
That costs one magic, which gives me evade until the end of the next turn. I'm not expecting it to get into combat anytime soon because I do have stealth from my disguise that I used earlier. There goes River. I have to say, I absolutely love the art style and the, and the kind of graphical look of the game. It looks amazing. I love the character. Look at the animation. It's so, so good. And the character portraits are... I mean, look at Mercurio. He's just such a cheeky little chappy. Look at him. Right. So what's the king's decision? River's perished. So who has the most prestige? I think it's still Amber. Yeah, it's Amber with two. Okay, so what's the decision, your highness? From the rabbit clan. No battle between heroes is allowed until next dawn. Minus three prestige if you defy the king. So I cannot fight um, any heroes. So I can go up against the Bane um, creatures still, but I can't or shouldn't fight other heroes, which means I need to try and avoid going into uh, a tile occupied by another hero. Good work, Kingsguard! You killed a Bane. Oh, Mercurio's very close to me. Uh, who is the poorest? You've got two. Uh, hang on. How much gold do you have? You have one. Oh dear. Is it worth risking though? And how much do you have? Two. Because if I play Merry Thieves, steal two gold and give it to the poorest hero. Uh, I'm going to put it on my settlement here. Uh, right, okay, good, so. Oh no! I set off my- oh, that was bloody stupid of me, wasn't it? Uh, how clever. Anyway, roll dice, I'm gonna fail this one. Yep, failed it. That was bloody stupid of me. Ignore that, ignore what I just did, I should have moved and then played it. I completely forgot you can set off your own um, your own cards. Anyway, start making my way over to the. Uh, there we go. Uh, is it worth giving myself a Vaden? No, because I hopefully shouldn't end up combat. Yeah, uh, I completely forgot you can set off your own perils, which I always thought was a bit odd. Um, so I should have played it after I'd moved through that town. The reason I wanted to put it there was try to put off uh, any of the enemy heroes from going into my settlement. Because if they do, they claim it, which means I don't get my plus one gold at the start of each day from that settlement. Well done, Amber. Glamour. Play to hero. Steal one card. No! Stop ste- Ah! And this is something you have to watch out for as well, because um, you kind of other players, or AI as I've got here, can use cards and tricks uh, and spells like that to mess with you by taking stuff from your hand or taking items. It's all very uh, kind of political intrigue and backstabbing in this game, isn't it? <laughs> I do love it though, it's such fun. Well, the king uh, sounds entertained, doesn't he? He's grumbling to himself. Right. So I need to choose two cards. I'm going to go with an item card. Uh, Adventurer's Kit. In Perils, I get an additional dice. That's useful. Uh, we will go with another item card. Torch. Plus one gold after every dungeon explore. That is also quite useful. Uh, I have one gold, so I could equip the Adventurer's Kit. So I might save that. Anyway, let's go and do this challenge. Ow, swamp. I forgot about that. You find the wagon deep in the mire, still sinking. The dog merchant pleads with you for help, but your options are tragically limited. So I can pull the wagon free, which will give me plus one uh, body, plus one prestige. And if I pass the body challenge, I'll get the spirit stone or help the merchant leave the caravan. I won't get the spirit stone. I'm going to try for the spirit stone. Worst that'll happen is I lose one health. Oh yes, victory! I had a 60% chance, so it was worth the risk. I've got the Spirit Stone. I've now increased my maximum health to 7. That is outstanding, exactly what I need. Let's wander onto this village tile. 
So I have now basically claimed it for myself, which means I get uh, additional gold from them at the start of the next turn. Uh, I think there was a spirit stone somewhere else as well. Not just the one I picked up there, but I've got... Oh, it's all the way back here. I'm a... I don't think I can get to it in time. What I will do is slowly head towards this silent grove, the stone circle. Because once I enter, uh, I will gain plus one health. So I'll refill from six to seven. And I'll end my turn there. River, what are you going to do? You've drawn a lot of cards. Oh, what do you need? Thane, I've kept my eyes and ears open for news you might be needing. So, Storm and Sunshine. That's a spirit stone. And it's a wits challenge. I'm not good with the wits challenges. Uh, Courage of the Cubs, which would get me an explorer. Or Bane Slayer, which gets the Helm of Heroes and it's a spirit challenge. I'm best off with the fight challenge. I'm hoping another spirit stone will form in one of these cir uh, stone circles so I can just wander in and uh, kind of pick it up. Right, it's daytime. I have two prestige, but I don't think I'm, I'm not the prestige leader because it would have told me. It's still Buddy Bunny Bumpkin. It's still Amber. What's she chosen? This What's the declaration? Dungeons and stone circles are now restricted. A bounty to any who enter these tiles. That is not helpful to me whatsoever. As soon as I enter one, I'm going to get a bounty on my head. That's not good at all. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Let's have a look at the king. Hmm. Right, okay. So I cannot enter a stone circle. If I do, that's a problem. Oh boy, and I don't think I can enter the dungeons either. So dungeons and stone circles are restricted. That is going to be a problem for me because I need to get in there. Um, well, I don't need to go into the stone circle right this second, so... Do you know what? I will give myself the adventurer's kit. I'll hold off on the torch for the minute because I am expecting as the game goes on, perils become more obvious. So Wild's warning, grants evade until the end of the next turn. I don't think I'll need it unless I get into a fight, which I'm hoping I won't. I can't really fight Amber, can I? No, I don't think I can because I'm not sure if that earlier declaration has expired. I think it was three turns and I wasn't paying attention to how long it took. Uh, right. I've got one settlement in my name. I'd like to have that settlement back, but I can't. And there's a stone circle there. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So I need to go to Fam Fangbrook Swamp. Where's that? I wasn't paying attention when... Oh, it's all the way over there! Right, okay. Uh, what's my quickest route? Well, the quickest route would be to go through the stone circle, but I'll gain a bounty. So I'm going to have to go round. I don't particularly want a bounty, but I need to head over there. Okay, we'll end the turn. Oh, there goes Amber. See, that's where... Um, Amber's wanted. Oh, dear. See, this is where River's ability comes in handy. Like, Amber there had only one, um, one health left, one body. So, because of River's ability before combat, she uh, takes one health using her archery skills. Um, that was basically a guaranteed victory. Oh, Mercurio's done. Are you really heading into the palace already, Mercurio? That was a bad idea. He's died. He's respawned, though. When you die in this game, you don't die permanently. You just respawn back at your start. Right. Oh, God. Perils everywhere. 
More perils. It's far too perilous. Right, I could do with getting that spirit stone that's all the way over there. Uh, I will go with an item card. Ooh, bastard sword in battle, plus one sword and plus one die. Costs four gold to use. Unfortunately, I don't have four. However, I can go hup. Then I go hup. And then I go hup. Oh, why didn't I go into the settlement? If I'd gone into the settlement... Ah, why didn't I do that? Anyway, end of my turn. What I'll do is I'll pop into that settlement in the next turn. And then continue moving on. Because... Hmm. Oh yeah, River has got uh, Rot, which means she's losing health at the start of each turn as well. Oh, someone played False Orders, and there goes Amber. No, Amber, no! Where are you, Mercurio? You're over there somewhere. And you used Shimmer Shield. Uh, Shimmer Shield is quite handy for shielding against attacks. Amber's died, and her bounty is cleared. Right, who has prestige? It's me! So I get to choose what the king's law is going to be. What are the choices? So Thane, the king, seeks your counsel as prestige leader. Dark storms. The king conjures up a dark storm, dropping lightning perils across the kingdom. All sinister rituals. The king is performing sinister rituals. All banes across the land gain plus two fight and plus two body. This is the thing. is The early declarations were not that bad. But as you go, as he becomes more and more corrupt, it gets worse. We'll go with dark storms because the banes are annoying enough as it is. On advice from my loyal steward. I have chosen to drop lightning every... Ah, oh, no, exactly where I need to be to get the darn spirit stone. Anyway... Thank you, your majesty. Is that a dead bane? Yes, that's a dead bane. That's good. Right. So, do I dare pop into there to take the settlement? No, because Mercurio will just take it. There's almost no point because Mercurio will just be a... A cheeky beggar and take it anyway so I might as well just try moving as fast as I can uh... do you know what I will take it just to annoy him because he's gonna have to move in there to take it then we go into the forest and uh, now I'm worried about river no actually I'm not no no we're fine we're fine Okay, so one, two, three. Yes, I should be able to get to my quest location in the next turn. And River's heading off the opposite direction anyway, so we're fine. I've got... I need one more gold and then I can equip the Bastard Sword, which will be useful if I get into a fight with any heroes. Well, Amber has... Oh, uh, right, okay. She's actually in my way a little bit. Mercurio keeps stealing gold from me. Stop it. Stop it, Mercurio. Oh. Right, it's night time. And the king has once again... Is, some, is, is uh, again coming to the rot and he's going... More and more insane. Oh, that bane just killed one of the king's guard. Yeah, the banes are not pleasant. Uh, do I really want to fight Amber? Right, I am going to give myself... I can't give myself the Bastard Sword because it costs plus four. Uh, right, Amber, what are you like? So you've got five health, four attack. I've got six and seven. However, I'm down to six because of wounding. Uh, however... Oh, hang on a sec. Hang on. What am I doing? Oh! Amber, what have you got? So, battle armor, you get minus one die and plus two shields. In battle, get plus one shield. So, you'll get three shields automatically, but you do lose one dice in combat. That's useful to know. Uh, let me see. Because my clan affinity is night, I get plus one die during the night. Right, so it is probably worthwhile. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Here we go. We're into the combat. This is what I wanted to show you. 
Right, so I've got six dice, she's got four, I get plus one for night time, I get one defense automatically because my chain mod's shirt, she gets three. Now I can burn cards, which will guarantee me attacks. So I'm going to burn the torch, because I'm probably not actually going to use it. Do I keep the bastard sword? I'm going to keep the bastard sword. Let's roll the dice! Anything useful? Three defense, lots of defense. Hooah! And force her to flee. Take the settlement. That'll do nicely. Now I've got one AP left. Uh, we're going to go into the swamp, which will take some health. However, I can then do the challenge. So minus one health. Courage of the Cubs. Searching through the twisting trees, you spot the light of a campfire. The pup is tied to a post surrounded by rat clan outlaws. So attack, free the cub, which will be plus one fight, plus one prestige. I'll potentially gain an explorer, which is find more gold and magic when you explore, which is cool. Or I could lose one prestige if I lose. Wait for nightfall, plus one, plus one, but I don't get the explorer. So we're going to go for it. It's worth the risk. Victory! So I've now got a follower, which I can equip. I'll equip you straight away. Bang! Bang! There we go. So I've now got an explorer. That's helpful. And I will end my turn. Next rumour. Choose a quest. Even I can tell that Armello is sick. You need to do something for Thane fast. So, Spirit Stone Wits Challenge. Oh, that'd be so useful. Coin Master Body Challenge. Ooh! Coin Master. Unused action points convert into plus two gold. Do I dare risk? I'll go with that one. More followers is always useful. It's all the way back over there! Right, great, fantastic. How's Mercurio doing? He's got one HP. And he's just taken a settlement. Encountering peril. Never and he's died. Straight away. He keeps going for the king. Uh, the king is not healthy. He's only got three left. I still have the prestige lead. Therefore, I have the king's ear. What two madness rules must I choose from today? Civil uprising. The king's agent spread descent. All settlements across the kingdom become terrorized or healthcare. The king has graciously poisoned every hero until the end of their turn. Pay four gold to have the antidote. Oh, good lord. Uh, well, healthcare, every hero is poisoned. Now, when you're poisoned, every time you use an action point, you lose one health. However, I'm going to be moving into a stone circle, so I'll lose health, but I'll gain one health. And then I can just end the turn, and it's only until the end of this turn. But then that means I can't move, or settlements become terrorised, which I think means everyone loses the settlements, so no one will get much in the way of gold. Oh, crikey. Uh, hell with it. Bam! should be interesting. Indeed it will, Your Majesty. Everyone is terrorised! Oh, the screams! The screams! They shall haunt my dreams! Well, His Majesty is still hiding in his castle. Yes. Be brave, Sir Knight! Kill the Bane! You didn't kill the Bane. Uh, the Bane forced you to retreat. Okay. So I need to draw a card. I'm going to go with the spell card. Evil Eye. Play to hero. Plus two wits until the end of next turn. Right. That is handy because if I save that for a rainy day. Right. Spirit Stone. Although I do have a peril to worry about. Here we go. So Lightning Strike. Minus three health and turn ends immediately. So it requires a fight and a defense. Go for it. Just roll them bones. And pray for the best. Uh, no, I think we've lost it. There's a fight. Nope, my turn has ended. Oh boy, that was bad. But I did get a spirit stone. I need one more. One more spirit stone. And I will have my victory. Potentially. Again, I've never done a spirit stone victory. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Right, Amber has gained prestige, and she's the new prestige leader. I need to do something to gain prestige and get it back from her, because 
I'd rather like to win with Prestige. You can actually win the entire game on Prestige because the king will eventually die from the rot because he loses one health per turn. Uh, so whoever has the highest Prestige, if the king dies, uh, it becomes the new ruler of Armello and wins the game. Oh, bloody Thanes. Thanes? Banes. I'm Thane. Thane is not Bane. I am low on health. However, I'll take this settlement. And... Uh... Go on. Oh boy, I forgot you were there. Uh, this might not go my way. Oh wow, she's got a lot. Okay, I was ambushed so I don't get any bonuses. I'm just going to have to roll and hope for the best. I've only got three health at the moment, so... She's killed me. She has killed me, I think. No, she hasn't. I've just had to back off. Uh... Right, let me think. I'm going to give myself... Evade. And end my turn. So if she attacks... Oh uh, no, because of her bloody special ability where she just fires arrows. Oh, she didn't go after me anyway. Are you going to fight the king? No, you're just sitting in the castle. Here we go. This is bad. I'm evading. So I've only got four dice, but I do have to fence. She's got lots of defense. Uh, just roll... Defense. And I've got literally two defense. I'm done. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, there's the killing blow. I do love the battle animations. They're so good. They do exactly what they need to do. They're just smooth and quick and to the point. They're brilliant. Sometimes difficult to keep up with what's actually going on, though, because you can't always tell what the card effects are because it's that quick. Um, so, like, with Amber, for example, her cards came on so quickly, I couldn't see what the descriptions were, um, but I just saw what the effects were. The king is down to two health. He's drawn closer to death. I no longer have the prestige lead. Amber does. So what's her decision? Under my name, the king orders the prestige leaders to pass around their renown, giving each other hero plus one prestige. Why on earth would you choose to do that, Amber? What possible benefit is that to you? Well, not that I'm complaining, but what's the benefit to you? Oh! King's guard is fighting with River, and the King's guard has died. And uh, she is now the prestige leader. Right, it's my turn, so I'm going to draw a spell card. Focus, plus two spirits until the end of next turn. Fine. Uh, I have four gold, so I can equip my bastard sword, which will give me plus one uh, sword in battle, which is an attack. Do I go after the bane and then head that way? Yes. Yes, that is my plan. Plus two wits. Okay, we'll fight the bane! This may have been a bad idea, but fight me! Whoa-bam! No point burning anything. Just fight. Okay, I've got a decent amount of defense in there. I don't think he can kill me. Yeah! Back off, Bane. Okay, there's no point going into the swamp because I will lose health. And it doesn't get... Do you know what? Heck with it. Kill the Bane! I said there was no point. I don't care. Kill it. Kill it with fire. I'm pretty much completely ignoring the end goal of becoming the king at this point. I'm just mucking about. I've lost sight of my goal. Right. I think, yeah, I've, I think I've killed it. Killing blow. Overkill. And blocked all your attacks, you wuss. Victory is mine. Plus one prestige. 
lost a health. Um, evil eye and spit. Okay, enter. So there goes River. Encountering peril. Oh, bear trap. Here goes Amber. Uh, I might not be that bad, actually, because I'm the prestige leader. If I can keep the prestige lead, then I will actually automatically win if the king dies because I have the most prestige. So I don't know why I went the spirit stone route. It just seemed convenient. How are you doing, Kingy? You've got two health. Or two body, as they call it in this game. Right, I'm going to draw... Uh, I'm going to draw a trickery card. What's this? Patronage and industry. Plus one gold and plus one prestige per turn for the next three turns. Which costs three gold to use. I have zero gold. So, here we go. Beautiful. Plus one health. Uh, and I'm immediately going to lose it. Bam. Ouch. Peril. I have five dice. Uh, what do I need? I need a rot, a night time, and a fight. Uh, I'll burn that to guarantee one. Roll the rest. Yes! I passed the challenge, which means I do not lose any additional health, as that peril would have done. I'd have lost two health, and I do not gain any rot. Now, what challenge was this again? I forgot what it was. Anyway, I need to check my uh, thingy bob in a bit. River's turn! What are you up to, River? You're hiding in a forest. You oh, you're fighting Mercurio, are you? He used a fish, and he ran off. Lightning strike killed Mercurio? Well. There's Mercurio, back at his starting point. And he's got one of the spirit stones. Ah, okay. We are fine, King. Have you lost some health? Yep, you're down to one. Oh, that's why... Oh, Amber. Amber, Amber, Amber. Well. And what this day? The King needs more guards. Or does it all King's guards... Are the... Right, the King needs By more guards. Name, take heed. There we go. I think uh, Amber is probably going to kill the king. Yeah. Oh, uh, River, not Amber. River. Amber's the bloody rabbit. River's the... That was a mistake on my part. Go on, King's Guard. Bring her down! You failed. You failed me. Uh, I'm going to go with a spell card. Oh, I can't use it because it's a... Uh, right, yeah. Because it's a rot card. If I use it, I, I gain rot, which I don't want. I'm going to use focus on myself. And then I'm going to... That costs three, so I can't use it. I'm going to move in. What do I get? What do I get from exploring? A spirit stone! I now have four spirit. Four spirit stones. You awaken in a prison cell deep in the forest waylaid by the king's guard. A royal torturer looms over you, demanding wolf clan secrets. I have a 70% chance of winning it because it's a health uh, challenge. You'll get nothing from me. So, I... Come on, I've got to win this one, surely. Yes! Good odds. You grit your teeth and fight through the pain, slowly loosening your bonds enough to slay the torturer and escape with a fellow prisoner. The Coin Master. Unused action points are converted into gold. Wabam! And I also now have loads of health. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go here. Followed by here to gain one health. I'm up to eight. Now I have my spirit stones. Whoops. Uh, this one I need. Ready to use Spirit Stone Spanish the King. I don't know if I can actually use them, can I? I think River has probably won. Yep. 
Right. Well, River killed the king. I was defeated. River won because she destroyed the king. Uh, because I faffed about with um, trying to pick up spirit stones but not doing it fast enough, I unfortunately lost. However, that was still fun. I really, really enjoy this game. It is so cool. It's just one you could just sit down and play in just a single session and... Because the board is randomly generated each time, it's never the same each time. It's just fun. And look at the accolades. I got Vanquisher, Shadow, and Thrifty. Thrifty. I spent zero money. Well, I, I didn't. But anyway, that, ladies and gentlemen, was our mellow. I've, I'm on my way to getting a new amulet. I have unlocked a new signet ring. Outstanding. That was fun. That was our mellow I really, really enjoy this game. It's just so much fun. It reminds me so much of, like, um, Animals of Farthing Wood and uh, Red Wall. The Red Wall series is one of my favourite book series, and that's really what kind of drew me to, drew me to Armello in the first place, just because it reminded me so, so much of that fantasy world with the anthropomorphic animal characters. And I absolutely love it. It's just so much fun. I haven't tried the multiplayer yet. That's something I'm going to try later. But I need to practice more with the single player, because as you saw, I cannot focus and I lose. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this one. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. And just before I go, I do want to quickly give a quick shout out to one of my friends on YouTube, Inside of Mind. He's a fantastic uh, theory channel. Um, does some really, really good videos. He's done some recently on Stranger Things and uh, taking a look at the Cloverfield universe. Go and check him out, guys. There's a link in the description down below. And thank you again for joining me. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye!